Hey Aquarius, welcome back to my place. I say speaks messages, Gypsy Vishtaro. Sending you love all the way from India, Bharat, Namaste. Let's start with the read and this is going to be though timeless. All right, so I am on Instagram, SSHE, LLS, SSHE, I running also. Uh, I have my Patreon, I have my membership and I have my store live. Thank you for being part everywhere and also thank you for the donations. I highly appreciate it and the, you can do it via PayPal. Someone is going to call out for you, okay? Now the call out is two to three things. Like first, they're going to call you, okay? And you attend or not, like you receive the call or not, that is on you. But I also feel like someone is going to call out via energy. I mean, telepathic possible. Maybe they are sending you a signal or message here, okay? And the main message that I heard was, the one who was not in love with you or the one who was not zero one 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 recording time the one who was not in like not attached with you or was not awakened during that time to towards these emotions or feelings or to self feelings of course uh, only then the wake up is going to happen i feel like this is about this person who is going to start feeling or they've started feeling and you are unaware about it because you're not in touch with them now this may not be for all of you because these are general readings i highly appreciate your affection and understanding here um i feel like the one who was not in love with you they'll be in love with you the one who was not thinking about you or the one who was not missing you or who was not feeling anything whatever is that the moral of the story is that they are going to start feeling, they are going to start exploring about what they are feeling about you. Because yes, some kind of um, absence and detachment and things going um, individually in both of your life, things are changing. But you have to, you have, you need to know that maybe because of this time frame and because what you tried and did something for certain someone, something happened in like, can we say like it's undone undo okay means um unlove yes more more appropriate word is someone like feeling and this is you unlove situation okay i don't care if there is no word like uncare i know possible <laughs> that's not the word but that's what i'm hearing and we are not supposed to be sticking sometimes with words because that's how they are giving me the message okay so yes uh, something that Um, okay, I heard the word ridiculous, something ridiculous happened, okay, and the experience possible was ridiculous for you as an individual, and I feel like things just were in pause for you as an individual, like you were figuring out about this, what is that is in pause, actually you, uh, you know, fill in the blanks kind of, and you put that word pause, P A U S E zero three 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 recording time, which is very very interesting because this is something of reunion call, not for all, but this is something in emotions and vibe and signaling kind of like I want to meet you or I want to talk to you kind of energy. Some kind of bell or bells you might be hearing or some kind of sound, okay, which is very different from then chaos. Do you see that like this is something that you are hearing something which is giving you or you know pulling your attention or someone is trying to pull your attention this may be bell bell notification some signal via some source somewhere okay um, I feel like this is happening or this is what you're going to see okay I did one of the readings where I said that there's going to be like tiny changes causing big changes okay it depends what do you want to do okay you don't want to entertain don't entertain but that's how the energy is coming okay that's what my reading is here so what i was telling you is that the one who was not in love they're trying to 044 for recording time a lot of synchronicities maybe numbers messages are being given to you through any source you just need to be alert okay um or aware we can say there's some kind of uh, Mm -hmm. 
marking m a r k i n g now there could be uh, maybe it's about just in pronunciation mark the name m a r c okay but with the marking i feel like something is being marked for you something that you'll see and suddenly suddenly you'll know okay that's the arrow uh, that's the signal okay someone is writing somewhere something for you and this is specific people who are connecting with this vibe um, writing something marking something maybe someone is tagging something someone okay to let them know a particular message a particular song um, yes something like they require or they need your attention hmm. so the one who was not in love they are actually doing like this just take this as a this particular portrait like a photograph not a photograph it's a portrait uh, so the art we can say so just take the message from this art what she is doing okay that's it like I feel like it's like uh, this is this person's energy okay where are we <laughs> so he's like or she is like doing bow okay and that's what is like someone is trying to be cupid themselves someone is trying okay this is the person hmm. give your relationship a chance so maybe the one who was not in love they'll be in love or the one who was not in love with you they'll be in love they are in love okay and as I told you it's not necessary that now you feel something for them it's not necessary that now because they feel you feel the same I don't know about your feelings right now because it does depend on uh, the behavioral patterns the actions the, the way people uh, treat you, the way people show the gestures. And if they ignored you, if they, if they let you be and then you cried or whatever you did during that time, um, you just got out of that. And with time, stories change. But at least if some of you were waiting on karma, to be honest, that's what I can see happening with them, okay? because they are going to realize and the realization is coming with such a hard turning point in their life that they're going to know what they lost mm. that's that's karma okay some of you have been practicing pronunciations uh, maybe this is a different language you're learning or something has to do with your own uh, learning you know learning never stops I feel like we, sh we, sh we should be open to learning we should be open to nice suggestions and shares um, keep learning things like I love accents I just love learning words and everything and try to make myself more and more you know updated about things I try okay so this could be the one but for you, the energy over here, this is your masculine, okay? Like, the cupids are talking in the other realm about, like, you you, you messed it up. You, you are, you're a messer, okay? And, and he's like, but let me try, but it's too late. I mean, we did, we showed you the arrow, we did everything, and now what you are doing? Like, that kind of discussion, okay? It's, it's there. And she's like, like she is she's not interested like she's away okay because someone wants now the playfulness and let's play together and have fun and all that uh, the other energy mm -hmm. you don't know so I won't say oh the lover is coming and you are saying oh yes no it's not yes it's not an easy yet it's not even a yes right now okay no there's a challenge for this person you just you're treating yourself or you're learning to treat yourself it's not that you don't treat yourself it's just that you are pampering yourself more you're taking care of yourself more you're more into detached mode because you've learned the hard way um, the kind of word I'm hearing sanctuary and that's your sanctuary 
okay that's that's your place where you are and you're taking care of yourself someone you know or you don't know they want your attention they want your attention they want to talk to you and they'll call out for you maybe there's a call there are some announcements happening if they'll be close I'll pause the video Where? I'll be back. Okay. And they're gone. So, I haven't seen this card. We're going to see it to, with you together. But the bottom energy is keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I am hearing there's a further, there is an, or whatever, further explanation that is en route for you like it's from this person's side okay um, also someone is going to be inclining towards you because they have love for you they're going to call out I feel like they want to talk to you now and I don't know about you I don't know about you okay because there's separation Somebody is uh, feeling the pull. Someone want this talk, this connection. And there is something in you that is trying to convey you that uh, I need time. I am not interested in going out of the way now. Whether this is a new connection or whether this is something like new in a way of figuring out the person and they, they're interested in you. Or is it like um, someone you knew? And I mean for the for, for human sake, humanity, you may end up talking or you may end up listening or you may end up just, I don't know, for some of you, you're just not even taking the call. You're not receiving it. And they are calling out for you. But if you do, if you do, it's just out of humanity. I mean, it's like, okay, fine. It's just because you are good. Do you see that this is something different? Oh, we cannot, no, I'm not going to pretend it. You know what? I personally cannot pretend a hello to the person who's done back to me, of course, or they were so cheap and covered 13, 13 recording time. And if I ever had to do a hello, even to some relatives, to be honest, um, I did it out of like, a, a, like a pressure like I have to do it just because I have to do it to get it like it's formality I don't like it I cannot say hello to someone who doesn't appreciate me or it's just an example I'm giving you so <laughs> I cannot okay and it has nothing to do with rude I mean what you did to me was rude Right? So what's the message? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. I feel like there was a repeat pattern or, you know, something. And if it's again repeating, you people need to be aware. You need to be, what I said, you need to be, huh? yes. I was about to say in Hindi, ha. Huh? Ha huh means yes, okay? <laughs> so, um, yeah, something that you, there was a rep repetitive, you know, it's a something that you're repeating, like a class or something, a chapter or something, or a lecture or something, or a lesson, okay, and then you did learn this in a hard, through a hard way, okay, and then you, you realize something, you figured out, or some of you might be figuring out something, pay attention to the red flags is also, uh, yes, it is about the person as well, the situation as well, but it's also telling it that's, the red flag is for you. The, the sign is for you. 
leave that place so i feel like some of you figured out something it may be one month ago one year ago or just a few days ago kind of energy you figured out something about certain situation or some place or some person and now you know what to do i feel like you're not visiting the place again it's kind of like i'm hearing oh my god it's it's giving me a giving me goosebumps kind of it's something connected with abandoned place house or some construction site somewhere maybe your work is there or something you have observed recently with nest possible and it's giving you, I'm still I'm having goosebumps like my body okay so something was fishy about the area or something is fishy about certain situation and you should just take the step back also I want to repeat that do not take any kind of mirror from someone don't take and also uh, don't you know don't see in the mirror if it's at random places abandoned places and also just don't okay all like even if it's at a place some some place abandoned don't look into the mirrors okay and if you did run what are we doing here ah oh. okay someone wants to meet you or they may end up saying that i want to meet you so again the thing is don't meet them at some weird place shady place and if it's someone who is new or strange or giving you strange idea or something just don't go these energies i am taking on these energies i can i can hear voices again it's more of like whispers it's more of like a chaotic kind of but there's no crowd as if like th there's no crowd but but there are people there are people who you don't see so it's, a, it's from spirit world and they're whispering that don't go there they're giving you the signal they're cautioning you this is a helping hand from them also i want to say the one who was not in love the one who was like always you know wanting your attention but they never gave you attention they always wanted your attention but they never gave you attention you get this they are asking something from you they are getting aligned wanting something from you i am telling you they are signaling you or they will signal you they'll call out for you literal call i heard what's this place what is this place what is the place okay this particular so they're saying what's this place and they may be mentioning some place and you're like what's this place because you've never been to you never heard of i think you shouldn't go torture i'm hearing the word torture t o r t u r e torture emotional torture someone was a red flag is a red flag okay why do you want to even change it i don't know it's someone it's connected with abandoned abandoned places abandoned relationship abandoned feelings abandoned something okay someone is going through phase they're saying phase p h a s e this person is going through a phase and i kind of heard like a same phase i mean if you went through some emotional trauma or energy or drain like that they are going through that same phase kind of wherein the learning process is starting okay there's a high wake up call so the messages are really weird i mean yes on regular basis i do the readings and they are very different but it's like everywhere kind of yes that's how i read i think that's how they connect with me 
So the one who was not in love with you, they are in love with you. They're missing you. And this is something connected with notification bells and I told you, okay? Look at this, they want reconciliation. Ah. <laughs> they want reconciliation. Someone from your past was returning to your life. Um, some people have problem the way I read, so get the hell out of here. You do not tell me how to place my cards, how to read my cards, okay? You do not tell me anything because if you do, it's just your waste of time here and energy is disturbed here, like it does get disturbed, okay? So don't do that. They're watching you. Don't do that. Don't be creepy. Because I can be a hell lot creepy if you want. <sighs> There's music around you. You might be playing music, okay? So, you are going to take this card. This is what your card is. This is your card, even if it's not flipping. <laughs> because the one who is not in love or is not in love with you, they're in love with you. They want to talk to you, they want to grab you, they want to cuddle you, they want to just pull you in their life. And if you don't feel right, of course, you can stop anytime because they're attracted to you, there is attraction. They don't stay intact. There was something else written in the notification and I saw, I mean, that's what I understood from that. It's a gateway, gateway. Someone is seeking permission here for the reconciliation here. Okay, someone is attracted to you. Someone is attracted to you. It's a who, you know, it's kind of energy I, I just heard, mm, Casper. As if like Casper is playing Cupid. Like literally, I, I, literally, I just heard Casper. So you have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. I think like the time is going to come when they're going to try, they will try, they may try, they are trying. They would love to prove to you that, you know what, I regret, I want to be with you, I'm your love. So for some of you, this may not be from past, okay? Because everything is changing and rolling. And maybe someone else is attracted to you and they are going to tell you that, look, I'm your love, okay? It doesn't necessarily mean reconciliation could be something coming from a long time. I don't be. Like, spirit world is telling you, <laughs> they're trying to convey, don't be scared. Don't be scared. We're bringing the change. It's a whisper. Do you believe me? So there's a true love. And this may be, again, the one who was um, not in love and now want to love you. This could be the one. Some, um, some hard truths. they're coming out or they'll come out. <laughs> no. 
Okay, what was that for? You know, it's um, witches. Witches are falling in love. Witches are going to be in love. Two five two five recording time. Witches are bringing their soulmates. Now it doesn't necessarily mean only the witch witch. Okay, witches. I think we're all of witches. But I also feel like people who practice it, they're more into which world. Or some are natural. They, they know. They just can feel. Okay. So, so there is something connected with passion. There is someone who isn't feeling too much. They are imagining about you, but not in a... I don't know. Maybe it's, yes, maybe it's an LST way. But, I mean, I, to be honest, I can't trust men. <laughs> Not in one go. I mean, there are genuine ones. I won't deny that. Okay? But it's not something that you... Uh, no. I mean, I don't just trust them like this. But do you have trust issues? A lot. I do have. And it's okay. Okay, so there's passion. I feel like someone is in feelings for you. I mean, they can't hold it in. They are going to reveal, okay? And with this person is not, I'm talking about not in a lusty way, but in a more uh, passionate way, okay? Because this is first your person or you're about to meet. There's some kind of, yes, this is a soul connection. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So if this is the chance coming, this is the way they are um, getting in your life, joining your circle, you have all the time to know. For some of you, yes, true love is coming with passion coming. This is your person. Figure out and you have to keep an open mind. Did I say stay aware, uh, stay alert and aware so you have this you have cupid's even done the work your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations who is missing you i want to be with you The one who want to, they want to be with you. Who is missing you? I want to be with you. So, to recapture romance and allow, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Literally, I don't want to go with words. It's just that you, they just love you. So they are going to focus on you. They don't care. You know, let me tell you something. Let me tell you about this person. They are a flirt. Oh yes, it's their natural like thing. Men, okay. But um, they are like, they don't give a damn to what you wear, to what you apply, to how you, what you do, what you eat, why? Because they love all. So they don't care about all those petty things, small things, which people have trouble, okay? Some have, you know, you shouldn't eat that. Oh, you shouldn't wear that. Oh, you shouldn't apply that. Get the hell out of my life. To be rude and to be stoned. If you love me, love me whole. Or get the hell out of my life. Because look, there's one life. And also in that, if you want my kindness and love, I'll give you. But then don't pass judgments and don't troll and don't make fun. First, learn to respect. You know, there was some, uh, I, I read a case wherein a girl got married, okay? So they were coming out of the court for the you know, legal registration and everything. She came out and she was, uh, she, she wasn't like, uh, there was imbalance and she got like a little bit the legs. I think she fell, okay? And the, the husband said, 
something which was so disrespectful. I think they said like something connected. I don't exactly remember the words, but she she just took the step, okay? Uh, he said, uh, how, how funny or how idiot you are, or something like that. What, what, what do you think? You got married, so you, you think that she's going to stay with you. Same goes, like vice versa. But if females, and as per the analysis of feedback, something is like they are going through that more. She just directly said, I want divorce from you. In few hours. I think it was just a few minutes, I suppose. I don't even remember. Was it like after reception or something? Uh, she, they were getting, registering the marriage or something. And she got separated. Because maybe that person thought, now she's mine. Nobody is yours. Okay? A man is not, like, it's not. It goes by itself. So. First, we are ours. We are your, because you are going to give us something to grow okay so please women out there you need to make people clear your male energies the counterparts and all they need to learn to respect you they cannot you need not to be with them i know it is very hard and it is pressured and sometimes there is no choice i understand that and there are many who are living like that as well but unless and until he doesn't see you like this he doesn't this is what playfulness is. Like, you be friends first. I f oh. Okay. Fine. Listen. I feel like this person is going to... Eat one, if they know you, knew you, they're going to be your friend again. Or possibility is that they're going to strength, strengthen it. Okay? Another thing is, if there's someone new, they're going to be friend first and then. Or if there is a friend, they know you they like you they love you they care for you is there someone who does care for you more like they are always concerned about you uh you know yes affectionate for you they look at you like every time like their eyes focused on you they don't see any other girl they don't message and this is so creepy like every now and then there are reels or something i see men are betraying their women women are betraying but mostly it's all men I don't understand why because I know many men listen to me here and they they have gone through wrong that's why they're here I feel like tarot's people are people who listen to tarot's been done wrong yes um, or someone who is emotionally you know cluttered up or feeling exhaust so the men out here they're going through pain as well and I'm not in any sort of partiality I want to clear that out okay so but as per analysis or feedback or sometimes there is percentage okay which is more I don't understand what do you want if you're getting a, so a lovely girl or lady okay why you betray or a boy you know the quest shall begin <laughs> Okay, what is coming for Aquarius is a uh, very genuine um, offer wherein there is going to be concentration. There is going to be concentration. A callback may happen. So great thing. Resurgence or reunion. Someone from your past may come. Someone who is going to make memories with you in the coming time as well. And that is going to be the past because the second goes become your past. Ten of Cups. All I can say in simple words is there's a fulfilling connection coming. Okay? You can always break the circle if you don't want something repeat from the past. Okay? Take care and see you soon. Bye-bye.